who can perform let's see we say the promiser has to perform i have already explained you that the person who performs the contract is called as the promiser so from it is the duty it is the primary responsibility primary liability primary duty of the promiser to perform the contract it is on the burden is on his shoulders to perform the contract he is the first person who is required to perform the contract so do you think only a promiser can perform can he appoint someone else under him to perform the contract on his behalf yes he can he can perform the contract the promiser himself can perform the contract as well as his agent can also perform he can appoint an agent under him to carry out the responsibilities under a contract on his behalf because that agent is appointed by the promiser himself an agent acts for the principal an agent the acts of the agent are you know who bears the ultimate responsibility for the acts of the agent the principal so the person who appoints is responsible for the acts of the agent that means the agent is performing for him with his authority on his behalf so an agent can also perform the contract if the promiser has appointed him any third person can also perform the contract for the promiser let's say i sell you a car the car costs rupees 5 lakh and you are required to pay me after a month but after a month your financial position your financial condition weakens a bit and you are in a cash crunch situation wherein you do not have surplus cash to pay it to me so you do not have liquidity left with you in such a scenario your friend comes to me and gives me 5 lakh do you think i will not accept that saying no i have sold the car to him you cannot pay me he is the person who is liable to pay i'll be a fool to refuse the payment from him so for me it doesn't matter you perform or your agent performs or your friend performs or your relative performs whoever performs i am concerned with performance so for me you perform your agent perform or any other third person perform i'm pretty much okay as long as the contract is being performed as long as what you had promised is being fulfilled is being met is being honored i'm good with it so the promiser himself can perform the agent can perform the third parties third person can perform <laughs> what if the promiser dies do you think that will bring an end to the contract that will absolve whatever liabilities the promiser had and now the promisee has no right to recover the amount or no right to get the promise enforced to get the promise performed because the promisee has given something so he gets a right to get something but what if the other party dies whom does he go to he has the right to recover or to get the performance from the legal 
heir or the legal representative of the deceased of the person who has died here legal representative means the person who represents some other person before the court before the law now let's say if i die do you think anybody else can represent me in legal matters yes my legal heirs can represent me or you know if i have made a will and have appointed some person as my legal representative then he will act as my representative let's say i nominate a lawyer as my representative so after my death he will represent me in all the legal cases and not my legal heir and but if i do not appoint or nominate a legal representative then my legal heirs become my natural legal representatives so it can be either way if i have made a will i am nominated then that person becomes my legal representative if i haven't nominated then my legal heirs become my legal representative but do you think the role of legal representative comes only when the person dies what if the person goes mad if he becomes of unsound mind or what if he becomes disabled by body he cannot go to places what if he becomes insolvent in these cases also the legal representative represents such a person the person has gone mad he cannot perform the contract he does not have the senses the understanding the rationality to perform the contract so a legal representative would be appointed by the court to complete the contract <coughs> also when a person goes insolvent the court appoints an official receiver official assignee or official liquidator who represents the insolvent person so he becomes the legal representative there so in cases where the promisor becomes incapacitated he becomes disabled to perform the contract his legal representative may also perform the contract it is not necessary that the promisor himself has to perform all the contracts please remember that these persons can perform the contract on the behalf of the promisor but not all contracts contracts which require personal skill personal talent experience judgment education such contracts cannot be performed by other persons like legal representative agent or a third person such contracts are to be performed by the promisor himself so contracts which are of personal nature personal nature means contracts which require personal volition personal volition means they require the skill you know the talent the education the experience the judgment of the promisor such contracts are to be performed by the promisor himself need to be performed by promiser himself 
they cannot be performed by other persons. I'll give you an example. Let's say you are a producer of a movie and you sign Shah Rukh Khan for your movie. <clears throat> and God forbid Shah Rukh Khan dies in an accident while coming to your set to shoot your movie. Now what will you do? Will you ask his son to be the hero in your movie in place of Shah Rukh Khan? Can you do that? No, you cannot do that because that movie required Shah Rukh Khan's services to be as the hero. It required only Shah Rukh Khan. Only Shah Rukh Khan could perform that character. Only he could have been the hero. Now you cannot appoint his a legal representative, let's say he appointed a legal representative, a lawyer as his legal representative. So will you now take his legal representative as the hero in your movie? Will you, will you risk? Will you take so much risk? No, you will not. This contract was a contract of personal nature. It was based on the recognition on the fame, on the skill, on the talent of Shah Rukh Khan. So it required Shah Rukh Khan only to perform the contract. In the absence of Shah Rukh Khan, nobody can be the substitute here. Again, you can take the example of painting. You, you know, you hire a painter to get your portrait done. So, you know, if if that uh, painter dies, you cannot ask his son or his daughter to get your portrait done because you never know if his son can paint or no. What if his son cannot paint? But that is, you know, leave alone if his son can paint or no. The first question is, can you ask his son to paint? No, you cannot because this contract was of personal nature and only that painter could have painted. You cannot ask somebody else to paint it because that painter has died. In such a case, these contracts become void because they cannot be performed by anyone else. Where the contract is not of personal nature, that is, it's a you know business transaction. You are purchasing goods, or uh, you know you are hiring an auto. You are uh, purchasing a bike, you are purchasing a motor vehicle, car. Such contract can be performed by legal representatives, such contract can be performed by legal aids. But personal contracts, contracts which are in the nature of, you know, uh, which are in personal nature cannot be performed by other persons.